Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Ain't nothing but the void here, Captain. I'd just as soon leave it cold, dark, and derelict. Heads down. On the move. On my way. a lot of mechanicals. If we power up the station, you think they're gonna power up too?
Oh, I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Wait, who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station's security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. Hmm. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Yeah. Ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. <laughs> nah, that ain't no fun. Oh, careful where you step.
still alive in there. Suppose Sublight will thank us for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. Bertrand. Bertrand. I've seen that name before somewhere. Cascadia, right? You know something? You might be the finest agent Sublight ever hired. Chartrand is that scientist, right? From Cascadia? A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Do return in one piece, Captain. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, did you meet any resistance at the station? Ugh, 
I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch, maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. I knew it. Aliens from other worlds been visiting Halcyon. At least one of your crew can keep an open mind. But this isn't some Aetherwave serial millstone. This is reality. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. Damn, she's serious. Tragic, ain't it? What age does to your mental faculties? The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? If we're gonna see this through, I'll need your trust and commitment. Now's the time for setting doubts aside. Conspiracy. One carried out with the help of human collaborators, assuming they haven't all been replaced. This is an invasion of our very cells. That damned gas is mixing our nucleon with Halcyon biology to twist us, change us, make us more like those monsters on Monarch. No kidding. That's how they want it. When I lined up the evidence in my spreadsheet, there was only one possible conclusion looking back at me. This is my data talking, not my anxiety or lack of sleep. Sharing my findings took a calculated risk. If you were a spy, I doubt you'd even realize it. Only your cells would know. Probably nothing to worry about, as long as you don't start growing tentacles or slowing down time. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. It's cute that you'd think that about me. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. 
Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board, unlimited funds, and a colony full of sheep. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want, a promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that. Is it done? I see. If you need directions to Byzantium, it's the big fancy one. Can't miss it. Not as much as I'd like. The board dispatched it to Earth on a resupply mission, I think. Why? Interesting. It's possible the board wanted the cruiser to disregard ancillary tasks. But to what end? I'll have someone look into it. But for the moment, we're pissing in the wind and shooting in the dark. Considering how you get around, you'll probably find answers before I do. She's a traitor to her species. I'll rest easy once I know she's dead. Easier, anyway. I'm on a low patience, high stress diet at the moment, Captain. What is it? Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Time changes all things. Even Reed's stranglehold over Edgewater must inevitably yield to the attrition of time. Start anew. Edgewater will become the town it was meant to be. A place where we live in harmony with the world. Where none of us writhe under the whips of corporate masters. A place where all are welcome. Except for Reed's supporters, of course. The garden will bloom anew. I have plans to transform the old cannery into a nursery, 
with crops enough to feed a town. But of course, and now we have a whole cemetery to ourselves. Saltuna was making the town sick. From now on, if anybody's hungry, they may feast from the bounty of the soil. Quietly now. I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! going on my way hey take a gander the door's busted rebecca anders you in there
Here they come. May the law have mercy on you. I won't. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh no. Oh no. What did you do? This is an unfortunate sight indeed. My condolences. I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all sent to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. I'd have leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, I'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. <laughs> That'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. Never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. <laughs> 